Skag Zero Turn mowers are some of the most efficient, maneuverable, safe, and well-built mowers in the industry. But these powerful machines are only as safe as the operators. You are responsible for proper mower operation and your own safety, as well as the safety of the people and property around you. Make sure you and everyone working for you is trained in the safe operation of the equipment. At Skag, safety is our number one priority, and this video gives you basic information and instructions for safe operation of your mower. However, please remember that this video does not replace the operator's manual that came with your machine, so be sure you and those working for you read the manual before operating. Make sure that everyone knows where the manual is located and keep a record of each operator that has read the manual. When using any equipment, the key safety elements are based on common sense and good judgment. If something feels unsafe or not quite right to you, stop and reevaluate what you are doing. There are a number of safety precautions you need to know before beginning operation of the mower. First, read your operator's manual. Know and be attentive to the attention symbol that alerts you to important safety considerations, as well as the signal words used on the machine and in the manual. Make sure every adult using the mower is properly trained and thoroughly familiar with all controls. Never allow children to operate a riding mower. Do not mow when children or others are present. Keep children out of the mowing area and with a responsible adult. Stay alert and turn off the mower if a child enters the area. Remember that a mower is not a toy. Do not carry passengers and do not let children play in the mower. Keep keys stored in a safe location when the mower is not in use, for example, where they are inaccessible to children. Never operate any machine under the influence of alcohol or drugs, or if you are tired or impaired in any way. Tuck in any loose clothing, remove any jewelry, and tie back long hair to prevent them from being caught in moving parts. Wear protective clothing, including safety shoes and long pants. Local ordinances and insurance regulations may also require commercial operators to wear a helmet or hard hat. Always wear safety glasses and hearing protection. Operating mowers over prolonged periods of time can cause loss of hearing. Check the fuel level. Fill the tank outdoors. Do not add fuel in an enclosed area such as a garage or enclosed trailer. Make sure the engine is stopped and cool before refueling. Do not overfill. Do not start the engine until any spilled fuel has been cleaned up or has evaporated. Use only approved containers and do not store fuel in an enclosed trailer. Do not smoke and keep all flammable objects away from the fuel tank and container. Make sure all shields, safety devices and decals are properly in place. If any are defective or damaged, contact your dealer to repair or replace them immediately. Only operate the mower with the side discharge chute installed and in the down position or with an optional grass catcher, mulch plate or complete mulching system. With the engine off, make sure the blade mounting bolts are tight and all hydraulic fluid connections, hoses and lines are secure and in good condition. With the engine off and cool, visually check on and under the mower for any fluid leaks. Leaking gas, oil or coolant can damage components, turf, asphalt and concrete and can be a fire hazard. Also check to make sure the tires are in good condition and properly inflated per the operator's manual. Low tires can cause poor traction as well as tire damage and an uneven cut. Overinflated tires can cause poor traction and turf damage. 
Your Skag Zero Turn mower is equipped with a protected interlock system that shuts off the engine if the operator leaves the seat with the deck drive engaged or the parking brake off. Test the interlock system each time you use the mower and never operate the mower with the system disconnected or malfunctioning. A ROPS or rollover protective structure is provided on many current Skag Zero Turn sit on riding mowers, excluding Liberty and EVZ models and is available for some prior models. If your mower currently is not equipped with the ROPS, inquire with your Skag dealer regarding availability for your particular machine. The seatbelt system is a critical part of the ROPS. Inspect it daily for signs of damage and contact your dealer immediately to replace it if problems are evident. Failure to do this can cause serious injury or death. Check the webbing for cuts, fraying, wear, significant discoloration from UV exposure, packed dirt, and stiffness, all of which can reduce the physical strength of the belt. Ensure the buckle and latch operate properly, and check for excessive wear, irregularities, and cracks. Also be sure to confirm that the seat belt recoil latch is functioning properly. Finally, just before mowing an area, Check for hidden obstacles like tree roots, holes, and objects that could be picked up and thrown by the blades. Mark sprinkler heads and other removable objects. Now let's look at the safety considerations you should be aware of while you are mowing. Again, it is important to read, understand, and follow the safety information contained in your operator's manual. When operating the zero-turn mower for the first time, Practice on a large, flat, open area at a slow speed and with the blades off until you are comfortable with all the controls, especially braking. If the operator were to lose steering control of the mower, move both steering levers to the neutral position and apply the parking brake. Before starting the engine, ensure the controls are properly positioned. First, adjust the seat to a position that is comfortable. Then, make sure the deck is disengaged the steering control levers are in neutral, and the parking brake is engaged. When turning the mower from one cutting path to the next, use a Y-turn method as shown to minimize damage to the turf. When mowing across a slope, always turn the mower uphill when changing direction. There are several important safety considerations to keep in mind while mowing including safely dealing with slopes and other potentially hazardous situations, as well as the purpose and proper use of the rollover protective structure. Mowing on slopes takes extra caution. Never use your zero-turn radius mower on slopes greater than 15 degrees. Slopes less than 15 degrees can also be hazardous, especially in wet conditions, which can make the slope slippery and the mower difficult to control. Operators mowing on slopes for the first time should first practice on the slope to be mowed, operating at a reduced speed with the mower deck off and making turns until the operator is confident that the slope can be mowed safely. To measure the angle of the slope, use a straight surface about as wide as the mower and an app on your smartphone. If the slope is steeper than 15 degrees, use a walk-behind mower or a string trimmer. To check if a slope is too steep for the current conditions, try to back up the slope with the cutter deck down. If the machine's wheels slip, the slope is too steep for the current conditions and should be mowed with a walk-behind mower or a string trimmer. Use a walk-behind mower or string trimmer to mow slopes of more than 15 degrees. Always mow across the slope with a walk-behind mower. To prevent tipping or loss of control when mowing a slope, reduce speed, start and stop smoothly, and avoid sudden turns. Never tow equipment on a slope. The extra weight can cause loss of traction and control. Stay at least two cutting widths away from drop-offs, ditches, retaining walls, and water, and do not mow or drive on any slope exceeding 15 degrees. Even on flat ground, the mower can roll over if its wheel goes over the edge or the edge caves in. Use a string trimmer or walk-behind mower in these areas. Avoid making sharp turns. Reduce your speed when turning, especially on slopes and wet grass. 
Give yourself extra distance to stop in these situations. Skag does not recommend mowing in reverse. If mowing in reverse is absolutely necessary, check the entire area behind you, maintain a constant lookout, and go slowly. Generally, disengage power to the cutter deck when you are in reverse. Be careful when approaching blind corners, shrubs, trees, or other objects that can block your vision, and mow only in daylight or good artificial light. Your Skag mower is built for good traction and stability under normal conditions. However, traveling on slopes and wet grass can reduce traction and steering control. Be aware that using attachments with the mower may affect its stability. Be sure to follow the directions found in the operator's manual. In case of a rollover, the ROPS is designed to help protect you from serious injury or death. But remember, although your mower has a ROPS, serious injury or death can still occur in a rollover accident. A ROPS does not make it safe to mow on slopes greater than 15 degrees or near drop-offs, ditches, retaining walls, or water. Never remove the ROPS and always adhere to its proper use, which includes the following points. Always keep the roll bar in the raised and locked position and your seatbelt securely fastened during operation. Failure to do this could result in serious injury or death. Because there is no rollover protection when the bar is in the down position, lower the bar only when absolutely necessary and raise it again as soon as clearance permits. Do not wear the seatbelt when the ROPS is in the down position. Always return the ROPS to the up and locked position if it has been folded for storage or transport. Skag recommends trimming low-hanging branches so the ROPS can be used under trees in the up position. Otherwise, if the area is small, use a string trimmer or walk-behind mower. If using your zero-turn mower is the only reasonable way of mowing a larger area, and if the ground is relatively flat, lower the ROPS and mow with extreme caution, with the seat belt unfastened. When you are done mowing the area, immediately raise and lock the ROPS and fasten your seat belt. Do not lower the roll bar to mow under trees on slopes. If mowing under trees is required, always use a walk-behind mower or string trimmer. Always wear the seat belt when the roll bar is in the up position to keep you secure in the seat, which is the safe, protected area of the ROPS design. However, when the roll bar is in the down position, do not wear the seat belt. To avoid hitting any objects with the roll bar, carefully check the area ahead of time for proper overhead clearance. Be sure to stay away from utility pole support wires. Rotating cutter blades are extremely sharp and can cause severe injury or dismemberment. Keep hands and feet away from the blades and all other moving parts. Direct the discharge away from people, buildings, vehicles, and landscape features. Before crossing roads, walks, or gravel drives, always disengage the cutter deck. Also disengage power to the attachments when not in use or when transporting. While mowing, Always be alert for holes, rocks, tree roots, and other hidden obstacles. Beware of low limbs and other overhead obstructions, as well as underground obstacles such as sprinklers and pipes. If you strike a foreign object with the mower, stop the engine, remove the key, wait for all moving parts to stop, and inspect the machine and attachments for damage. If repairs are necessary, have them made before restarting. If the mower discharge ever plugs, never use your hand or foot to dislodge the clogged chute. Instead, shut off the engine, remove the key, wait for the blades and all other parts to stop moving, and remove the spark plug wires. Then, use a stick or other device to remove the clogged material, keeping hands and feet away from sharp objects. When using a bagging attachment, be sure to stop the mower place the steering levers in neutral, apply the parking brake, shut off the engine, and make sure all rotating parts have stopped moving before emptying the bags or hopper, or removing the hose to clean it or the blower. 
Do not use your hands to clear clogs or debris. Be sure to replace the hose and close the hopper before restarting the mower. Never leave the machine running unattended. If you do need to leave the mower, disengage the cutting deck, move the control levers to the neutral lock position, set the parking brake, stop the engine, and remove the key. When loading or unloading the machine onto a trailer or truck, which should have sides, make sure the ramp angle is less than 15 degrees. Drive slowly and do not turn. Use a full width ramp rather than two narrow ramps. Always back up the ramp when loading onto a trailer and drive forward when unloading. Proper maintenance is key to the reliable performance of your Skag mower. Because maintenance procedures can vary between models, always consult your operator's manual for complete instructions for your particular mower. Consult your dealer for other than routine maintenance and for any other questions. Never make adjustments to the mower with the engine running unless specifically instructed to do so. If the engine is running, keep hands, feet and clothing away from moving parts. Before adjusting, cleaning or repairing your mower, disengage drives, move the control levers to the neutral lock position, set the parking brake and stop the engine. Wait for all movement to stop. Remove the key and disconnect the spark plug wires. To prevent accidental starting of the engine while performing any maintenance or service, stop the machine, apply the parking brake, remove the spark plug wires and disconnect the battery. Disconnect the negative terminal first and then the positive. When reconnecting, connect the positive first and then the negative. Keep all nuts, bolts and screws tight with frequent inspection of the blade mounting bolts. Do not change the governor setting, which controls the maximum operational speed and protects the engine from over revving. Changing the setting could result in machine damage and unsafe conditions. Never touch the engine or the muffler while the engine is running or immediately after stopping. These areas can be extremely hot and can cause severe burns. Some engine components can be hotter after the engine is shut off than when the engine is running. Do not run the engine inside a building or other confined area without proper ventilation. Exhaust fumes are hazardous and contain carbon monoxide that can cause brain injury and even death. To reduce fire hazard, keep the cutting units, drives, muffler and engine free of grass, leaves, excessive grease, oil and dirt. Clean any debris from the machine using a blower or compressed air and allow it to cool for several minutes before parking it indoors. If compressed air is not available, water can be used. Be careful not to spray water onto hot components such as the engine, hydraulic components, cutter deck spindles, or electrical components. When servicing is needed, park the mower on level ground and engage the parking brake. Only allow trained personnel to service the machine. If the mower blades need servicing, wrap the blades or wear gloves when handling. The optional blade buddy can also help. Ask your dealer for more information. Be sure to only sharpen or replace blades. Never try to straighten or weld damaged blades. When needed, use jack stands to support components. Hydraulic fluid is under high pressure, and if it gets under the skin, it must be surgically removed by a doctor within a few hours, or gangrene may result. Never use your hands to check for hydraulic leaks, and always wear approved safety goggles or glasses when checking the hydraulic lines and components. Keep your body and hands away from pinholes. If you need service on the hydraulic system, see your Skag dealer. Charge the battery only in an open, well-ventilated area, away from sparks and flames. Unplug the charger before connecting or disconnecting the battery and wear protective clothing and use insulated tools. When storing your mower, let the engine cool and store away from an open flame. Remember, you are responsible for keeping yourself and others safe and to fully understand all aspects of your Skag mower. 
Always be sure to mow safely on slopes and other hazardous terrain, and to use the ROPs properly. Stay at least two cutting widths away from drop-offs, ditches, retaining walls, and water. And do not mow or drive on any slope exceeding 15 degrees. And do not mow under trees on slopes with the roll bar down. Above all, respect the machine and learn all you can by reading the operator's manual. Replacement manuals are available from our website or from your dealer, who will also gladly help you with any questions. At Skag Power Equipment, your safety is always at the forefront of our efforts, and it is an integral part of our commitment in providing you with simply the best.